Welcome back ladies and gents. Before I start my video tutorial, if you look at the corner there, there's a red subscribe button. Make sure you tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at maximum and minimum values of tricks. If we started with this beautiful statement over here, it says y equals sine theta for any theta has a maximum value of y, which is one, and a minimum value of y, which is minus one. This statement over here, y equal cos theta for any theta has a maximum value of y which is 1 and a minimum value of y which is minus 1. We're going to be putting these two statements in action. This function over here, f of x equals sine in bracket x minus 21 degrees. I want to work out the maximum value of that particular function. Now, if I go back to this statement, no matter what theta is, y equal sine theta will have a maximum value of y which is 1. So if we look at this function over here, the theta represents x minus 21 degrees. The angle can change, but the maximum and minimum will remain the same. So the maximum of this particular function is 1, okay? And the minimum of this particular function is minus 1. In the exam, you could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function f of x has a maximum, in this case 1, and a minimum, in this case, minus 1. You have to solve the following equations. For the maximum, you have to solve sine in bracket x minus 21 degrees equal 1. For the minimum, you have to solve sine in bracket x minus 21 degrees equal minus 1. Now, next function, g of x, which is equal to 2 sine in bracket 3x plus 10 degrees. Okay, I could be asked to work out the maximum value of this particular function and the minimum value of this particular function. Well, to maximize g of x, I need to maximize my sine. And the maximum value of sine will just be 1. So the maximum value of g of x is 2 times 1, which is just 2. To minimize the function g of x, I need to minimize my sine. And the minimum of sine is minus 1. Hence, the minimum of g of x is 2 times minus 1, minus 2. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function g of x has a maximum, in this case 2, and a minimum, in this case, minus 2. So, to find the smallest positive value of x for which the function g of x has a maximum of 2, I need to solve the equation sine in bracket 3x plus 10 degrees equal to 1. To work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function g of x has a minimum of minus 2, I need to solve the equation sine in bracket 3x plus 10 degrees equal to minus 1. Right, the next function, h of x equal 10 plus 7 cos in bracket 2x plus pi over 2. What I want to do is work out the maximum value of this function and the minimum value. Okay, so if I want to maximize the function h of x, I need to maximize my cos. Okay, and the maximum of cos is just 1. So I have 10 plus 7 times 1, which is 10 plus 7, which is 17. To minimize the function h of x, I need to minimize my cos. And the minimum of cos is minus 1. So 10 plus 7 times minus 1 is 10 minus 7, which is 3. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function h of x has a maximum, in this case 17, a minimum, in this case 3. For the maximum, I need to solve the equation cos in bracket 2x plus pi over 2 equal to 1. For the minimum, I need to solve the equation cos in bracket 2x plus pi over 2 equal to minus 1. Let's move on to the next crispy function. Now, I've got function t of x, which is equal to 7 plus 2 square brackets, 3 cos in bracket 3x minus 3 pi over 2 um, square bracket squared. Now, the power 2 makes things extremely interesting. My first observation is, if I replace the cos with 1 or minus 1, I will get the same output. If I replace the cos, first of all, with 1, I get 3 times 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 7 is 25. In the same way, if I replace the cos with minus 1, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, minus 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 7 is 25. The maximum value of t of x will be 25. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function t of x has a maximum, in this case 25. 
this time I'm going to be solving two equations. And the two equations that I solve are cos in bracket 3x minus 3 pi over 2 equal to 1 and cos in bracket 3x minus 3 pi over 2 equal to minus 1. Once I solve these two equations, I take the smallest positive value of x. Okay, right, now I want to work out the minimum value of the function t of x. Well, to minimize the function t of x, I need to set the cos equal to 0. So, 3 times 0 is 0, 0 squared is 0, times 2 is 0, plus 7 is 7. So the minimum value of the function t of x is 7. Okay, in the exam I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function t of x has a minimum, in this case 7. I need to solve the equation cos in bracket 3x minus 3 pi over 2 equal to 0. Okay, nice. Now I've got the function g of x equal 20 minus 3 square bracket 2 sine in bracket x plus pi square bracket squared. Again, I've got a power 2, I need to be careful. My first observation is, if I replace the sign with 1 or minus 1, I will end up with an output of 8. Okay, now, if I replace the sign with 0, I will end up with an output of 20. Now, 20 is more than 8. So, the maximum value of g of x is equal to 20. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x, for which the function g of x has a maximum value of 20, I need to solve the equation sine in bracket x plus pi equal to 0. Right? The minimum value of the function g of x is equal to 8. I could be asked in the exam to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function g of x has a minimum, in this case 8. I need to solve two equations. And those two equations are sine in bracket x plus pi equal to 1 sine in bracket x my sorry x plus pi equal to minus one so i solve these two equations and then take the smallest positive value of x okay right moving on to the last two functions p of x and k of x are both in fraction form something very juicy happens when you have a function in fraction form i'm going to start off with two fractions five over five over two and five over three I want to compare these fractions. Well, first of all, I can see that 5 over 2 is larger and 5 over 3 is smaller. The reason why 5 over 2 is larger is because the denominator is smaller. The reason why 5 over 3 is smaller because the denominator is larger. So, in general, if you have a function in fraction form, to maximize the function, what you have to do is minimize the denominator. Okay, to minimize the function, you have to maximize the denominator. So let's first of all work out the maximum of p of x. Right, to find the maximum of p of x, which is this fraction, I need to minimize the denominator. To minimize the denominator, I need to minimize the sign. Okay, so the sign will be minus 1. I will get 5 over 8 plus 2 times minus 1, which is 5 over 6. Now, I want to work out the minimum of this function. Well, to minimize p of x, which is this fraction, I need to maximize the denominator. To maximize the denominator, I need to maximize the sign. So I replace the sign with 1. I get 5 over 8 plus 2 times 1, which is 5 over 10. And 5 over 10 is just a half, but I could just write 5 over 10. Now, in the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function p of x has a maximum in this case in this case 5 over 6, all I need to do is solve the equation sine in bracket x minus 3 degrees is equal to minus 1. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function p of x has a minimum, in this case 5 over 10. I need to solve the equation sine in bracket x minus 3 degrees is equal to 1. Okay, moving on to the last function, I've got the function k of x, which is this fraction over here. I want to work out the maximum value of this fraction. Well, to maximize this fraction and to minimize the denominator, the minus makes things interesting, okay? To minimize the denominator and to maximize the cos, I replace the cos with 1. And if I do that, I get 10 over 2, which is 5. 
Now in the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function k of x has a maximum, in this case 5. I need to solve the equation cos in bracket x plus 2 pi equal to 1. Now, I want to work out the minimum value of the function k of x. To minimize this fraction, I need to maximize the denominator. Now, the minus makes things interesting. To maximize the no denominator, I need to minimize the cos. I replace the cos with minus 1. I get 10 over 7 minus 5 times minus 1. 10 over 7 plus 5, which is 10 over 12. In the exam, I could be asked to work out the smallest positive value of x for which the function k of x has a minimum, in this case 10 over 12. All I need to do is solve the equation cos in bracket x plus 2 pi equal to minus 1. If you found this video tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe.